So what is VB script? Why we need to learn about VB scripting? These are all some of the answers which we may have to answer for ourselves. One, when I recognize any QTP, the way first QTP recognizes the object or the way the QTP uh, performs the action is through VB scripting. That is the base for QTP. The QTP recognizes the object, even though the QTP is developed using C sharp. C sharp is the base for the QTP, the way the QTP is structured or developed. But whatever you do, that is to be in the VB scripting. First is why he has chosen the VB scripting. Yeah, because the first assumption QTP had is he supports Windows platform. He doesn't support any other platform. So Windows by default supports VB execution. So I don't have to have my separate compiler. I don't have to hold any compiler. Because the native language by Windows by default supports VB. So the compiler I don't have to install separately. I don't have to give anything. What I can do is I use the existing Windows compiler, pass the code to that compiler. That compiler compiles it. If any error, I take back that compiler error message. I give back to the end user. So these are all the primary reason why QTP has gone with the VB scripting. So in VB scripting, what is that we need to know? There are several things that, that are used in the VB scripting. I'll show you what are all those. I'll, these are all the things that we are going to see now. I'm going, I'm opening the PowerPoint. I'm, I'm just sh stop your shared off screen because I'm just getting into the PowerPoint opening that page so that you will know what all that we are going to see. Just a second. I think it is in the course content page. I am just opening it. What are all we are going to see in the uh, VB scripting? First introduction to VB scripting, string manipulations, using functions, file system objects, how to create a library, how to debug the script, message box. These are all what we are going to see under scripting. Right? Apart from this, there are some third party objects that also we will see how to do it. So this VB scripting is nothing to do with your QTP. So most important part in QTP is the first, the second and third, string manipulations and using functions. These two are the most important components of QTP, VB scripting. And file system objects are used. Libraries, again the collection of functions are called libraries. Debugging the script, we generally use this. For debugging, message box plays a very important role. These are all the components that we are going to see under VB scripting, right? So now I come back to QTP. Let us take now string manipulations. That is where we start with. 
I go back now to QTP. Yeah, I am back to QTP now. So, first is we are going to take up string manipulation. So, string manipulation, before I do it, we first is called declaration. Declaration is a declaration of variables. As per VB is concerned, VB declaration of variables are not mandatory. It is not necessary that you need to declare a variable. So, declaration is generally done using dim statement. Dim statement is the one, right, is used for declarations. So, dim statements are the one which are used for the declarations. Next, declaration is not mandatory, but generally dim statement is used for the declarations. Next, I now go with, let us start with say var1 equals, I am learning then var2 it is also vb is vb scripting is not case sensitive but when we discipline when we use as per the standards of coding we are supposed to maintain the case everywhere then what happens the conversion of one code to another code it becomes easier so you need to maintain the case but VB as such is not sensitive to the, is not case sensitive. I am learning QTP through online training. So, this is my two variables I have declared, I have not declared it, I have directly assigned the value to the variable. Now, I want to know, do concatenation, where 3 equals var1 plus var2. So, plus symbol is a concatenation operator. The another operator is ampersand. This is also is is also concatenation operator. We always suggest to use ampersand not plus symbol. Plus symbol has some advantages as well as disadvantages. We will talk about that later. Now we have used var3 equal to var1 plus var2 message box var3. Now I am going to execute the script. Message box is nothing but to display that information to the user. There is another command called print, print var3, print is not a command of vb, it is a command of qtp. I want to execute this, I execute now, I say ok, ok, now it is executing now. So var1 is mean assigned with the value, var2 is assigned with the value, var3 is now assigned as var1 plus var2 message box var3, you can now see that I am learning QTP through online is the message box that is appearing on your screen. So, I am learning QTP through online, this I am learning is one variable, I am doing with another variable var2 and I am able to get that information. I say ok now, then print statement. Message box is an user interactive statement. So, since it is an user interactive statement, unless otherwise you deal with that message, you will not get the, you will, QTP will not move to the next line. Now, you can see there is a print message log, 
that print log says I am learning QTP through online. That is also available. So this print log is nothing but the print statement.